Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Commodore games. Woo! Tonight is a very special show. We are celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Commodore 64. So this goes away. Because um, <laughs> we're not playing Atari games. You have to put that little guy up there. Oh, there you go. Which little guy? That oh, little guy. yeah. We're gonna Does be, he fit? We're going to be playing the Commodore 64. Nice. Not this one. A real one that looks like this. Oh yeah. Does nope. it fit? Is he gonna fall? You might put Maybe him upside can, down. Can you? Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. Excellent. Excellent. So welcome everyone. Hey. Uh, Cubanismo says somehow I've never seen any Commodore 64 gameplay what? footage homebrew or otherwise, wow. so this will be interesting yes. for me. Oh, it will be. Yeah, we um, are gonna be playing my childhood Commodore 64. I love that. With Which is right here. still has its beautiful dust cover. Yep, it is a little yellowed, but uh, it does still work. <laughs> I've been testing it out with a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing it today. And luckily, it works with all DB9 Atari joysticks. So we're going to be using awesome. our Bratwurst Yay! joysticks as per That's usual. That's going to be exciting. I'm yeah, excited this, for that. Uh, this covers also from uh, party the time 80s. For kittens. Party time for kittens. It's party time for kittens already. Cats, 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 cats. <laughs> Catnip. That's from... Catnip. Thank you, M.K. Smith. Isn't that from, like, a song? I've never heard the song. Oh, I always... Shots, shots, I shots, always shots. Hear that. Shots, shots, shots. And whenever I hear it, I always hear cats, cats, <laughs> cats, 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 cats. Thank you, M.K. Smith, <laughs> All who right. said he was is very happy to catch the show live because oh, he's nice. not usually able to. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit in here. It will end up everywhere. You ready? And this poor little black cat. Yes. Um, is recovering from his surgery. He's doing fine, actually. He doesn't. Even, he Cute. can't even tell. No, no. I was worried he'd be a little groggy and 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 he's on need pain. A comb. He's on pain medication, but. He hasn't slowed down. He nope. eats just as much. He didn't throw up. He uh, he just seems he's like running around yeah. doing all the things. Just just keeps moving S forward. Still doesn't like catnip, but maybe yeah. one day. Yeah, one, he'll he'll once he's you know of legal age. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. of cat legal age. Cat legal age, um, maybe. Yeah, he can have some uh, some, catnip. some catnip. Yeah. Um, tonight we are going to be playing some C sixty four homebrew three games. Uh, we're going to be playing Sneezers. <laughs> um, Galencia. Okay. And we're going to be playing Soul Force. You guys can't really see this. Let me go back. <laughs> Here we are. Galencia, which is like Galaga. Nice. Uh, Soul Force. And this year's Zeta Wing. Oh, it's cool. From this year, earlier okay. this year. Nice. Um, and they're all on cartridge. So Perfect. we're going to plug right into the nice. C64 and no loading times. Excellent. And then we're going to do an After Dark. Yes! And I'm not even going to play. Yes! It's all going to be Tanya because I thought since we're doing Commodore 64, we're going to be playing Tanya's favorite game. My very favorite. Impossible is Mission. Yeah. And she's going to win. Right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, she's going to we'll try see. and win. She's it's very been, good at uh, it. Ooh, uh, mm. Little it's what? been a few years since yes. I, well, I played it recently, but uh, not regularly, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, he's rolling around. Early catnip is justified. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's oh, a happy cat. That's a catnip cat right there. M.K. Smith, what have you done to yes. this cat? <laughs> oh, he's going back for more. Yeah. Oh, too cute. Um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling down the side. Alan for Arkham H, Arbscar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Burl Lives, Kefman 2D, Carlos Madruga, Charles and Check, Charles Wynn, Coconut 81, Colonel Lavin, Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Danifsy, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gopher Man, 96, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Your Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Computer, JRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kayla, Lauren TDZ, Marco, Marco Johannes, Mark Basic, Mick Moose, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, who's here today, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, BG, who's also, <laughs> also here today, uh, Kohog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six Sweet, Smitty B. Spice, Where S. Ramirez, The D. Chain, Wells, Friend, 89, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Trek MD, 2600, and X Ken X. 
when do we start the full list of Commodore 64 <laughs> games? Ah, that ah. might be a very long list. Somebody actually suggested, oh, you should do all the Atari 8-bit games. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> that's, that's insane. <laughs> uh, if you want to be on this list, just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime if you mm -hmm. link them up. Yeah. Um, we do have a poll question relating to the Commodore 64. And it is, let's start that up. How many people watching on Twitch, mm -hmm. or you can answer it on YouTube below, um, have a Commodore 64? Uh, type in one for if you have one. Two, had one but don't anymore. Mm -hmm. Three, never had one. Or four, want one. <laughs> now, I still have one. Um, so I will put in one just to see like I mean primarily Who uh, has them still yeah primarily this is an Atari stream yeah so it's gonna be very skewed but it's it'd be interesting in the realm of okay these are Atari people how many may have how them many have have them? Commodore 64s uh -huh. thrice oh, over oh nice Beer Pocock is a nice. Commodore 64 fan yeah I have a couple as well do you have three yeah I think I have three yeah um there's another one I have in here, and it's the later model. Mm. Um, there it is, bigger size model. Oh, wow. I don't even think I've seen that. Well, I mean, I've seen it here, but... Yeah, in I, the wild? In Not the too wild, much. yeah. No, it's a later later model. Wow. Um, yep. It looks a little dirty. It's a little dirty. <laughs> Not quite as yellowed as that one. Um, C64C, that's what it is. Great mm. Offender knows. He, he uh, features a lot of... Commodore stuff on his channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you want to go check out more Commodore stuff, Excellent. homebrew and uh, other things, check out Great Offenders channel on YouTube. So the Commodore 64 began shipping in mass quantities in August of 1982. Okay. So 40 years ago 40 this years month. Ago. There's no definitive release date because mm -hmm. just like games back then, it's like, oh, it shipped to this location first and then this one. So it's like, oh, well, who knows? But it uh, debuted at the Computer Electronics Show in January of 1982. But it wasn't in wow. hands of people in mass quantities until, until later? August. August. So, ah. there was, so I was looking it up. A lot okay. of people celebrated it in January when everybody got their first kind of look, look at, at it. Look at it, yeah. But if nobody had one, yeah. is it, that really it, the anniversary? It's kind of like celebrating... Um, like a concept like, car look, before the car it. gets released. You can't right? have it. Yeah, exactly. But you can see it. You can see it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I think August is more appropriate for the 40th anniversary. So I thought, yeah. oh, this is perfect. Let's do a show on a couple. Uh, Atari, uh, uh, not Atari. So used to saying that. Yes. Commodore 64 <laughs> yeah. uh, homebrew games. They are all shooters. My favorite genre. Excellent. And these are the only homebrew Ooh. games. Sorry, oh, sorry, no. sorry. Accidental, oh, they're all gone crazy. accidental ding. Accidental no, ding. no, no. You didn't hear that. No, no. And the Commodore 64 <laughs> is the highest selling com single computer model of all time. No single computer model has ever sold more than the Commodore 64, mm -hmm. between 12 and 17 million units. And you're like, Apple sold more, not of one model. Of one model, of yeah. Of one model. Yeah. Or, hmm. you know, Dell sold more, not of one model. Wow. Uh, and I think the Raspberry Pi is Ooh. the second highest selling wow. because they sell like tons very of them. Yeah. specific models. Like probably yes. the Pi Zero is sold just tons and tons. Yeah. Um, or That's the Pi cool. 3 or 4 or whatever it up, it's yeah. up to. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I just have one news item. The mm. manuals for Zero Page Homebrew, the game, have come in. Mm -hmm. um, so they will be going out to the four lucky winners that won them. Uh, along little, with along, the cartridge. Along and, with the cartridge. And the... Um, and uh, the things that uh, yeah. Tanya made. The, the coasters. coasters and yeah. all and the other stuff. And some keychains. Yeah. yeah. And they're all signed, yes. the uh, cartridges. And I'll be bringing a set to PRGE to give away somehow. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So if you didn't get your chance to win one, I'll see you at, see you at PRGE. <laughs> um, I don't know how we're going to give it away. But we are in We've some We've got fashion. some time to think about it, so. <laughs> yep. And there's Pixel on the back. Oh, dedicated to the Pixel Cat. Dedicated to Pixel Cat, yes. 
Um, so let us get. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> yes. There is for you because I know you're going to be there. Um, so let's play the first one. Uh, this was the first homebrew I bought for the C64 Galencia because mm -hmm. it's Galaga, except you're too upgraded. Childhood you know? computer. Yeah. Galaga it just kind of goes right. Exactly. Yeah. Look um, at these boxes, by the way. The packaging is, is so gorgeous. I love this and, type of box. Like, just. Oh, it's beautiful. I can open it easily and just close it back up. I just yeah. love this box. Of yeah. course, it costs a lot more yeah. to make these boxes. Um, like these are like 70 or $75 each. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair they're, enough. They're pretty expensive. Yeah, really nice though. Really, yeah, really and nice. you get the digital download with it as well. Yeah. And if they update the digital download, oh. you get that as well. Atari Patch Quest says, I have this game and love it. Ah, yeah. very nice. And it came with, uh, also it comes with goodies. There's oh, a little like uh, keychain with Very the uh, Galaga B. Actually, let me show you this stuff because it is kind of an unboxing, even though it's old. It's unboxing for me. because I haven't really played these games because I usually only play games in. on the stream. Yeah. So there's the little keychain uh, key of the B. It's not really focused. That's okay. That's all right. Because it's too small to focus. It's like, oh, there's a cat in the background. Must focus on cat. There you go. Nice. And uh, here's the box for it. It's the lid. The lid. And let's take a look at the back of it. Oh. It's not closing, of course. Nice. Back of it. And there's an ad. There's the manual. Very nice. Look, very colorful. Lovely art. And you get a look at that cartridge. Card, <gasps> it's a teal of. colored cartridge. Uh green. Green teal. And a uh, drink mat, which I'll never use as a drink mat. <laughs> A cartridge that doesn't have much room for a uh, a picture, but they uh, now I should get something in there. It's a tiny picture. Nice. Yep. So let's pop this in and get it going. Pop out the ultimate two cartridge. Come that aside. Uh, let's switch over so we don't miss anything. Because it will instantly turn on. So you've got it all hooked up? Uh, it should all be ready to go, yeah. Good. Ooh, nice. Nice. Little bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Look at that. Protovision, which is the company that uh, distributed the game. Cheers, Analog. Hey, Analog. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and my favorite sound chip. Sorry, it's not the pokey. It's the Sid. <laughs> uh, the Atari 2600 was my first love, but my second love is the Commodore 64. And the Sid chip. And yep. the Sid chip. And mm -hmm. that's the music that really influenced the type of music that I listen to, actually, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Because I love synth music. Synth music, yeah. yeah. Um, and I just listen to crack demos, uh, crack intros and demos mm. it, throughout the 80s, so it really informed the the, the type music. of music that I liked. Yeah. Okay, you can press the button. Creating the future. Nice. Um, Nostalgic says, I like when modern games come with feelies. It's a nice touch. Yeah, me too. Very nice little screen. Intro screen. Earth. 
2017. <laughs> <laughs> Came out a couple of years ago. Yeah. Five years ago. We did not listen to the warnings. <laughs> we decided to ignore the decline of, of our, our bee, bee population. population. <laughs> Great tie-in. That works. And now their guardians have arrived. Oh, they're uh. space bees. You must pilot the 1981 Galencia fighter and restore order before it is too late. Look at the city. It's in shambles. Oh, my goodness. Design code and graphics. Jason Aldred. Aldred, yeah. Music and sound effects. Pulse bot. Additional graphics and sound effects. Saul Cross. Very nice. Okay, jump into it. Are to start? Uh, or right. options? I'm listening to music. Nice. Just for a second. And we get to see all the things. Formation, nice. attacking, siren. Get the most points for the siren. Of course, you get more points for killing attacking bees. background okay oh f1 for options yeah so uh you get to pick uh the starfield shade mono color color or duo, duo. color i'll go for color absolutely score palette so you get green uh blue or liquid arizona platinum arizona. arizona what do you like arizona yeah high score table just leave that alone uh, in-game in -game music, music, I'd say on. Tournament in the mode, well, we're not playing a tournament, nope, so we'll leave so that off. off. Game difficulty normal, we'll start with normal. You want to go easy first? Eh, we'll or do normal. normal. Okay. All right. Are we ready to go? Go for it. Now we'll read it out once we get going. Amy, ready, sir. Nice. Going with her puppy to yeah. fight, uh, to fight, to fight a wave. Fight the bees? Yep, 50 attack waves. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, beautiful. Get it, get in there. What? Oh, don't. What happened? Well, you got shot by a bullet. Oh, I didn't you... even see that. You were distracting me. I was saying get in the, uh, get in the beam. I probably don't want to now. Oh. Uh. This is uneasy. Or normal, I guess. Um, three million oh. years ago, a devastating civil war on the planet Yeno, honey spelled backwards, almost wiped out the population of bees from the universe. With only a few hundred bees alive, the Guardians, giant queen bees, had little choice but abandon their home planet and rescue as many infant bees as possible from extinction. A hundred bees left. Yeno, under the protection of the Guardians, looking for a new home where they could live in peace. The Guardians scoured the universe for the perfect habitat. Many planets were either too hot or too cold, but eventually the Guardians found a world with the perfect habitat, Earth. The bees quickly settled into their new home, pollinating Earth's flowers, producing their delicious honey, happy that the bees were now safe. The Guardians left Earth to find their own home in a distant corner of the universe. For millions of years, bees lived in harmony with the rest of the natural world. They witnessed the dawn and the death of the dinosaurs and the birth of mankind. The bees were a little wary of man as he was a destructive creature with desire for power and a hunger for honey. But for thousands of years, man and bee lived happily side by side, neither posing a threat to the other. It wasn't until the latter years of the 20th century that things began to change. Environmental damage caused by mass deforestation and pollution destroyed more and more of the bees' habitat, while powerful farming pesticides killed bees on a scale that not have since the time of War of Yeno, not seen since. <laughs> oh, With goodness. decades of the bee, po bee population dropped by 50%, as the 21st century arrived, the decline, at a, uh, the decline continued at an alarming rate. Oh, the stage is timed as well. Yeah. What, what is going on here? Shoot all the things. I don't know, I can't. Oh, you shoot, shoot them in the background. Shoot all the things. things. Avoid bullets and shoot things. Well, that's usually how it is. <laughs> that's every shoot them up. <laughs> and collect power arms. Oh, ran you know what? I get distracted by the star field and the shots sometimes. Mm -hmm. I miss that it's a shot coming You can back. change it to mono. But Maybe that's why they gave that the option. No, nope. cow nope. rating cow. You got a cow rating. Ah, By 2017, uh, only a few thousand bees remained. 
news of their near extinction spread across the universe on Nitram. Mar Martin? Uh, Far-flung planet on the outer reaches of the galaxy. The Guardians headed the heeded their call. Get in there. Looks like he had a double ship last game. Yep. Yep. Shoot the siren. Ah, God. Went right for the bullets. You know what? He shoots only when he's really close to you, which is interesting. Oh, it doesn't flip around. That's much oh. easier. Oh, God. <laughs> Too dangerous when they're low. Was... Nostalgic said, this is nice. It's not just a clone, but adds different movement and patterns and enemy types. Yes. Especially those heads that were in, like, uh, stage two or three, whatever it was. And they take multiple bullets, some of them, too. Not just one. Yes, yeah. The demon heads took a lot. Within 24 hours, swarms of guardians has attacked human settlements oh across God. Earth. London, Paris, Tokyo, and New York were hit by swarms of killer bees, which left thousands dead. A global... Emergency was called, and the world leaders agreed that the armed and manned robot rocket ship would be launched from the ISS. Its mission would be to attack the Guardians, who are gathered in space just outside the Earth's atmosphere. A crack team of military experts were assembled by Army Starbanger, a renowned NASA scientist. Other than science, Amy loved three things more than anything else in life. Her pet, Monkey Boo. So it wasn't a dog, it was oh, a it monkey. Oh, like a... it looked like a dog. Uh, classic 1980s video games and bad jokes laced with innuendo. Uh, inspired <laughs> by the legendary 1980 class 1981 class fighters, Amy quickly designed the Galencia rocket ship. Galencia was cutting edge military technology and required a pilot of outstanding skills to fly it. There, were on there was only one man for the job, Ace Harper. Ace had a glittering metal collection, a fearless reputation, and most importantly, he was the greatest fighter pilot that ever lived. The call went out and Ace agreed that, but insisted oh, that his lucky mascot, his pet dog, Roxy. Oh, so it was Ace that went in the ship with his dog. Amy designed the ship with her monkey. <laughs> um, could come along for the ride. Amy accepted. Ace was handed the keys to the Galencia and told to get out there and save mankind. Now it's all in your hands, Commander. So Ace Harper is 45 years old. Uh, he's committed, loyal, and deadly. I wanna, what did I win? Ooh, yeah! Oh, big heart, extra life. Nice! Amy Starbanger, age 24. Divinity modification installed in 2011. Oddly attracted to pilots. <laughs> uh, how to load it? Well, you just plug it in. Joystick port two, as per usual. F1, yep. Spacebar to pause, so you can pause the game. do that. You have to learn. You can't get under them when they're low. You know, you, sometimes it's the only way to hit them. They shoot when they're low. I know. They shoot oh, when they're high, high too. too. Oh my god. It's like... Oof. Oh god. Brought in some friends. No! No! Caught in the <laughs> corner. Uh, Galancia Copyright 2017, Jason Aldred. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Explains the... All the menu, pretty straightforward. So that's a siren. You don't want to get in there? You have none left. No, uh, I have none left. Oh, bouncing. <laughs> oh, they bounce. Oh, my God. That's crazy. So you can't even go on that side of the screen. Interesting. Uh, <sighs> keep an eye on the timer. If it gets too low, sirens will call in reinforcements. Mm -hmm. So that's what the timer's for. Not that... Uh, You'll lose a life, but that. Oh, so close. I haven't learned. Get well, too close. Yeah, you want to shoot it. Or you My turn! All right. Animal rating cat! Woo! That's where I want. The sprite well, work come, is really impressive. How come the pole isn't up? Pole? Yeah. On the screen? Oh. Yeah. Oh, because I turned it off. Oh. For some reason. Can you turn it back on? There we go. Yay! So, yeah, we want to get that up on the screen. Ne Let's see. 38% have one. That's the most. 33% uh, never had one. 19 want one. And then 9.5 had one but don't anymore. Ah, so, I a see. A lot of people uh, have one or want one. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Mike Soul, it is on the Commodore 64. Yes, uh, so um, this is outputting through S video mm. and upscaled with the retro tank. So T. Yeah, the sprite work is really impressive. They're also so big, it feels like you have very little room to maneuver. Yeah. TOB. Thank you. Fire! Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, you can hold it. Much easier. Yay, auto fire! Auto fire for the win. Oh, we don't let that guy get down. Come on. Can you not gonna... There you go. I like how it looks like DNA. <laughs> yes. It's like sucking you up with DNA. Thank you. Nice. It's actually way easier than Galaga to yes, shoot. Yes, it is. To get is. your um, way fighter easier. back because he doesn't he doesn't spin and nope. tumble when they so when they fall. So you have falls. no chance of hitting accidentally your ship. hitting your own ship. Yeah. I don't know what happens if you hit it at the top, but Probably I'm not going to take the Probably something similar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, taunting me. Mm -hmm. So I go to the... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's definitely much better when you have the double ship. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, oh my no. God, he ran into me. He's yeah. coming too low. Get out Some of here. Some of them get quite low. Get, get, oh. Good job. Oh, I want another ship. Challenging stage, no! Can the sirens capture you when you have a double ship? That's a good question, but I don't think they actually come it, down and zap. It didn't zap. come down, but I didn't let them come down either. I've been destroying them. And this, them. this bonus level so is much easier. so much easier than Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing normal, but... Oh no! Good job! You wanna... Oh, you did this too. You got them all. Yep. Nice. Yeah, much easier. Stage 8. I need one now. I need another... I need another double. Ah, ah, oh, no! Oh! oh no. Now I can't get one. No. Oh, no, I can. No, you have one left? Yeah, you have one left. Yeah, so I can. <sighs> Just oh don't my die. god, I'm not used to. Don't die. Oh! I'm, game this over. is a very Actually, different game. Actually, that was game. your last life. Yeah. Oh, Gray says negative. Negative. I got a rabbit. Aww. Playing on cartridge, so I don't think this saves. Some cartridges you can save on it, but mm. I'm not sure. Gray seems to know. Gray, can you save to the cartridge? Mm. Oh, I did worse than you. That is unacceptable. I did get a few rounds in there, though. Yeah. It's fun. I like it. I like it. Nice this is extension right up your to, alley. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm on. She like, puts her wings down. Yeah, and... sucks you up. Really nice. But it play, oh my god, it does play different. Like there's different things happening than Galaga. Oh, it's a very it, yeah. And you have to same concept, but different enemy movement and the shooting is they shoot very low. Yes, not a lot of height in this game. A little different too. But there's definitely enough height because they move differently. They move mm. slower. Like everything moves a little slower. Oh, yeah. These guys kind of block. I don't know they if they do. shoot. And, I, and they take it several shots to kill them. Maybe I have to kill them, or these things just keep coming back in waves. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't... Well, remember, those oh go God, right down. No! No! Those go right down. No! They're pretty oh, zappy, too. Oh, my God. And now it's challenging stage again with one. But not that it was a problem. No. Would be nice to have two ships to oh, shoot. Looked it up, the cartridge supports game saves and loads. Oh, great. So, it does. so do I have to manually save my score then? I don't know, maybe it automatically because it does. Had like options to save and load. Good job. You won a heart. Yay. Oh, what? <gasps> what? You got a double fighter, so maybe Just cuz? Cuz you're lucky. Wow, okay. I'll take it. Yeah. See how long it lasts. Ah! Stay up there. It no. Is. When they really start shooting as, as time goes on, because oh they don't God. shoot and they initially. They dive for you horizontally. 
like they go down to the bottom and move faster than you can. So you have to stay like away from them. Good job. Like far away from them. Stage seven. Good job. Thank you. Lose a life though. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bouncy and dangerous. I bet they're worth a lot. Yeah, because it's almost impossible to get. Oh my god. Oh my god. So tell me nice. about your childhood with Commodore 64. My childhood. Um like they like when did you get it? How old were you? Uh, and what games did you have that you played when on did it? You get it. I would have been I can shoot these things first. Eight? Yeah. Eight, maybe? When my dad got one? Yeah. Um, Actually, it would have been better to ask what year, but now it's too late. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not going to say. Uh, yeah, it would have been eight. And... Ah! No! Oh. What, what prompted him, but he worked with computers a lot. So I right. think um, that probably interested him. Right. So he got it for himself, himself as well as for us. Right. Um, and he did do work on it, from what I recall. Um, but we had a lot of games. He had a close friend who lived in the neighborhood. Ah, no! And I, I oh, oh my goodness. God. Extra life. Well, good. Oh, garbage in the bottom. What happened there? <laughs> um, wow, it's very different. Sorry, I'm just very intrigued. Yeah, it's very different than Galaga, um, which is great. Oh, I can't get those stars. It's just crazy over there. Are you supposed to get stars? Yeah, you get lots of bonuses. Oh my god, so many points. But you can't shoot them too much. Oh my goodness. Or else they disappear. Kind of have to just carve out a path for yourself. Yeah. So uh, inside. Oh, 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 oh. And you have to stop shooting yeah. to collect it. Uh, we had lots of games. A lot of them were from his friend who was on a BBS and would get games and put them on disc and give them to us. Yeah. So we, I had a lot of games and I played a lot of games without any instruction manuals, which was very Same common. Same with me. Very common back then. Um, what were my favorite games? Well, we did have Print Shop and I remember yeah. just so did I, yeah. printing so many like on the I guess it said banners on dot, dot matrix. matrix printers and making cards for my parents for their birthdays and stuff like that. I remember doing that a lot. I love that. Oh my god! Um, what games Jeez. did I have that I loved and played a lot of? Quest, no. Quest for Tires. Uh, we did have Impossible yep. Mission or Mission Impossible. Um, Impossible One and mission. two, and I, I I did get through both of them. I never played two. Yeah, two was even harder. <laughs> um... Yeah, I read briefly about it. There's like multiple towers yeah. that you have to and go you have to. Yeah, you have to solve much all the better. towers. Much uh, better. Print shop was so much fun. What else? What else do we play? So if I press, oh, how do I get back? You don't. <laughs> you don't get back out. Uh, we had a koala pad. Oh. So we used to draw on a koala pad. Did you? Um, that was really cool. Um. We had some some kind of art art program. Sorry, threw you into it. You can just die. <laughs> koala uh, paint. Qual I don't. Came, came with the koala paint, the koala pad. I don't. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? I'm trying to think the ones we played a lot of. Okay, don't I, press anything. Mummy's tomb or something like that. Is this go down to high score table save? Okay, press it. Hey, there you go. All right. Strange it doesn't do that Quala automatically. Paint. Yeah, Quala Paint. Quala That's paint, what it was. Yeah, yeah Quala Paint. Okay, you get one more game. One yeah. more? Then we're okay. going to move on. So this, the guy who made this, I have some information about it, about this guy. Oh, yeah. there's even stuff in the middle, in the box. I try to think of other games I played a lot of. I know we've discussed it before. For your comfort, please ensure the cubicle door is pressure locked. This can be firmed with the lock panel indicator. Mm -hmm. 
What the hell? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh. oh, this is this is how to go to the bathroom <laughs> in a spaceship. Oh, is it? <laughs> Instructions without saying it. That was terrible. Great Defender says, we believe Galentia sets the new standard double thick wall box, really rigid and heavy, full color printing throughout, oh. including under the lid. Yes. And the wall sides of the box. Yeah, it does. It's very, very, very thick. It's a very nice box. Um, the part with the review quotes. Oh, the sides here. Oh, here we go. Um, from Reset Magazine, Rob Caporetto. Oh, God. Yeah, that was terrible. Some other people, I don't know. <laughs> Very cool. Do I get oh to play God. again? Or are we uh, moving on? Yeah, you did bad. You can play Terrible. One Terrible. You can play one more. Uh, From Jay Elder. To, okay. Uh, custom velvet covered inlay where the car sits. Cards? Cart sits? Oh, it is velvet. Oh, that's funny. I don't think there's new retro tank hardware, uh, firmware. Dings all the time. I have to update that. Um, but the amount of extras, the full color illustrated manual, all combined, we believe this is the best C64 packaging right now. Ugh. I think so too. It is no. solid. Mm. It's still for sale. You Ew. can still buy it. Oh, Ew. you're dead again? Oh no. Extreme caution, last fighter. Finally. There we go. Oh, yes. I have to read about Jay Aldred. I looked it up. So there was a sequel to this game in the works mm -hmm. called Oops. Galencia uh, Chaos Sphere uh, that was la launched on Kickstarter on January 14th, 2018 and got 80% funded in one day. The game was more than fully funded with 175 backers that pledged 11,000 pounds. The last update on Kickstarter and Indiegogo -Go by Jason Aldred was on May 30th, 2019 saying that he wasn't doing well and was in the hospital for five oh, weeks. Oh, no! And his last Twitter post was um, uh, two months after that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, with a picture of himself in the hospital bed saying that he was going in for day surgery. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I can't find... And I couldn't find any more information about, about this developer. Oh, no! No interviews, no Twitter nothing posts. Nothing came after that? Nothing. <gasps> that was the last dated thing I could find who's going in for day surgery. But no one confirmed that he passed away I look, or anything I looked anything up obituaries. Like I looked really? up, you know, passed away, wow. other other forms of that. Oh, no, that's... Found nothing. That's sad. And yeah. his, his game was fully funded and it's actually still taking orders. Which doesn't make sense either. Mm. Which leads me to believe he's no longer with us and he controlled the Kickstarter and the um, Indiegogo. Oh, really? There's been no updates for three years. Wow. But they're still taking orders. Oh, no. So. Do you think it's just running on its I own? I think it's just going. And oh, nobody has no, the ability to shut it down or has told them he's no longer with us and shut it down. That's possible. I don't see any other explanation. Hey, right, kitty. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. Not, not happy, but. Uh, mm. Yeah. If anybody knows any updates, mm -hmm. but I don't, yeah, either passed away or he's a bandit. Yeah, neither of those are good options. Hi, <laughs> right, cats. Lots of cats here. So, excellent, excellent, really excellent good. shooter. Really, really good. With uh, a lot more potential for me to play because I got pretty far, but not mm. definitely not far enough. So, there's lots more going on there. Oh, it looks like you could change the starfield color. Maybe you could change it if it's too hard to see the enemy shots. Yeah, you could, yeah, might be able to that. play with that. It yeah. went to dual color and then a monochrome mm. because it could interfere with um, mm -hmm. being able to see it. So the next game we're going to be playing is yes. uh, Soul Force. Let me change out the cartridge. Yeah, oh, another very nice box. Dusting the top. <laughs> um, so let's unbox it. Nice. Take a look at the hey, contents. Kitty. What's up? What's There's up? There's the cover. You're meowy. There's the back of it. Stick it 
sticker in there. Nice. For some reason. Oh, come on. No! Let's go back. And then forward. There you go. Still can't see the sticker. Oh, there it is. There we go. Very nice. It comes with a soundtrack. Ooh. Um, comes with a sticker. I think. Yeah, sticker. Soul Force. Comes with uh, a, a spaceship you can put together. Oh, that's cute. Uh, an ad for Pro Protovision as well. State of the art C64 game since 1996. Nice. That's a long time, actually. State of the art. And the instruction manual. And the cartridge in a velvet box. So I mm. guess they liked the boxes and kept going with them. Because that's what they're talking about. Hey, if I had the option, that I'd put everything be. in a velvet box. <laughs> Cats, that's awesome. get in a velvet box. Another set of cool feelies, says Nostalgic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Okay. Let's get that going. Nice. Same company. Protovision distributor. I'm going to skip over this though, because we've seen it once before. Yeah. Or maybe I can't. Yep. Oh, yes. There we go. Sad. Soul Force by Sarah Jane Avery, who's nice. quite prolific in, in, uh, programmer for yeah. the C64. Nice. She makes awesome games. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And so this this one and the next one are both by her. Oh, cool. And she's working on another one that looks amazing as well. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it is Commodore Day, Vitoko. It is Commodore Day. It's the 40th anniversary this month. Options. So, difficulty. Probably normal. Yeah, let's not do manic. <laughs> Auto fire on. Yeah. Oh, different music. Uh, keep the volume up. Yeah, just. Oh, that's a preview, I think, of the music. Okay. So it's a jukebox. Data menu. Uh, no. We're fine without the data menu right now. Um, well, we didn't start, so we can't continue. Yes. So 2020. 2020 I think this one. was released in 2021, though. Yeah, but yeah. a new a new game. Yep. Very cool. Norm Dad, Norm Liz, Easy mm -hmm. SJ. All the defaults. No, nope, my name's in there. Oh, it had auto save because I did not explicitly save. Oh, gotcha. Unlike the other one, we had to nice. save. Oh, thank you for cheering, Jedekiah. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying. Every day is Commodore Day. That's true. Agreed. Did it boot up with Manic as default difficulty? Yes, it did. I was testing it out on Manic. Oh, okay. So it actually saves everything. Wow. All your options. That's that really good. That is good and uh, nice also, to know it doesn't start on Manic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the moon, Lena. Our star system has been invaded by a strange warlike mechanized fleet. Launch the new Soul Force fighter and break through the enemy line. Very nice. Navigation systems online. All weapon systems ready. Engines at full power. Let's go for launch. Nice. Ooh, great graphics. Making oh. great use of the terrible Commodore 64 colors. I remember Darcy and I were discussing at one show. Yeah. About. Psst, 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 about it. about. About the colors on the Commodore 64. Yes, 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 yes. And like, why are they so strange? Yeah. Like, why did they pick those particular colors? Kind of pastelly. Yeah. They're not really solid colors. Yeah. They're all a little off. And we looked it up. And there's 16 colors that okay. the Commodore has, which is not very many. No. And it seems adequate, though. They picked eight. Oh. And then they just went, eh, what's the opposite of those? And just flipped the bits. And it was whatever colors they were on the opposite side of the, um, don't get the sides, uh, opposite side of, of the numbers. So that's why there's such terrible colors on the Commodore 64. They really did not put a lot of effort into, um, get that. What? The power up S that you just missed. Oh, I didn't oh even see it. I was paying more attention <laughs> to the things trying to kill me. Well, that is good, but power ups are better. Sorry, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Get the power ups. Um, okay. Oh, keyboard controls. 
I do have to take apart my Commodore because the space bar doesn't work very well. Okay. And the two key doesn't work very well. The two key? Oh. Which is used a lot when um, you're loading things because it's the quotation marks. Oh! Don't did I hit sides. something? No, something hit me. No, you hit the roof. No, something hit me. Really? Yes. Mm. A, a purple thing came down. Didn't you see it? Oh, no. Oh, boss time. <gasps> No, 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 no! Oh my goodness! What you do, stay in one spot till they fire everything, and then move up. And then stay up, and then wait till they fire, and then move down. That's how you get different bosses. Ooh. Ah, I ran into it! Oh no! Fail. That's okay, I made it to the boss, so that was pretty, pretty good. good for my first, my first run. Pretty good. Very cool. Press button. Tob. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do it. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, maybe that's why you want to continue. <laughs> so, side shooter. Side scrolling shooter. Yes, you love the, last one. the side scrolling shooters. I don't know whether I like the fixed ones. Really? Or the, I like both. The fixed ones have it all. Have, have a whole different feel to them. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. But you get a lot of a different look to the, yeah. the side scroll because it's constantly changing. I'm not a big fan of, oh, you crashed into the wall type no, things. No, I don't like that I either. I find those a bit annoying. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I agree power. with you. I got that power up. Oh, okay. Uh, just, there was another missed. one that I, yeah, I was just focusing too much on the enemies. Uh, if you showed me this and didn't tell me it was on a C64, I would have guessed NES. Same! Especially oh, yeah. with the smooth scrolling and fast moving enemies and big sprites. Yeah, I agree. It looks really, really good. Yeah, people are really, really good. good at the colors and, like, that's what's so great about Homebrew, is that it's so good. Yeah. So good now. People really know how to take advantage of the systems. Yeah, I missed- Oh, it's a shield! Oh. That would have helped. Yeah, I didn't notice it. That's okay. I know it's there now. Little heart bugs. Heart bugs. Cute and deadly. Not a fan of crashing into the side type games. No. I mean, I'm better at them and I understand yeah. them better now. I mean, you just have before. to be so precise. You do. Because now that I've played... Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Something came from the sky. Is that yes, what killed you? Yes, that's what killed me. Oh You're like, god. you hit the wall, and I'm like, no, I didn't. It's because you were in the top, top, top corner, oh, nice. and I didn't see... Hit, hit oh, that middle. God. Gotta hit that middle. Hard to get. It's not the easiest. You have to hit it's got a smack. very small opening. Does he shoot his bullet from the center? Yeah, he does. So it's not that big of a threat. You just have to be out of the way when he shoots it. Shoot right after his six shots. Nice. Dead, dead, dead. Love the explosion scenes. Oh, we got a bit notification sound. Did you guys not hear it? Oh, like a, like other than the default one, you mean? Mm. Oh, continue or save to disk. What is save to disk? Well, you can go back if do. you hit continue, probably. There's password. Oh, I do want to continue. Nice. Well, it's recorded. Take that, boss. Oh, yep. I didn't read that. Sir, sensors have detected the entrance. I'll gauge the surface enemies before entering the base. Good luck, Captain. We're all depending on you. Oh, oh, nice. A new screen for every level. Mm -hmm. Look at those red eyes in the dark. Deadly. Oh, what? Oh, you he still said. got your shield. Nice. As I should. Oh, walking enemies. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I need whatever that is. Oh, that. it's a bomb. Just went kabloom. But one issue with Commodore um, Homebrew, kind of like Atari 8 bit, is most of it is European. Damn it. It's okay, you still have. So a lot of stuff's in PAL. That promise... Oh, there is spread. I was like, he promised spread, but I didn't get spread. Just took a second. 
Nice. Oh, I love that scrolling background in there. Ooh. Boom. Yeah. Parallax. Oh, extra life. Is that what that was? I'm cool. I'm gonna, cool, gonna cool. assume it is. Yeah, it says four. Nice. Good job. Good. Icicles. Mm -hmm. Nice parallax. that was but it helped my shield a little bit taking your shield up yeah I think it did too far behind here I can't get those guys at the bottom I'll just have to dodge the shots mm -hmm. this is an excellent shooter mm -hmm. oh my god Bugs. Look like big stick bugs. Oof, oof. Double spread. Maybe? Yeah, it's shooting every time now. It was every second shot before. Spread shot. Lots of power ups. Oh my god, so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to stay in the middle and not all the way to the back. Oh boy, so close to me! Get away from me! Oh, double shots, out of the guns. Okay, got it. One, two, two. boom, boom. Boom, boom. boom, boom. Nice. They're easy, boss. Well, once you get the patterns, they're usually not too hard. So far, no boss upgrades like Second Wind of the boss. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah. like they have what they have. They have what they have, and then boom! The ship count looks like a command prompt, yes. It's like yeah. a little, little arrow. Hey, Yorgi's castle! Hey, Yorgi! Good to see you, too. Al Alga? Alga so, surface. Alga? Uh, there's, you I can keep read thinking that? that's Inspector Gadget in the corner. There's enemy activity on the water planet Alga. We suspect they are searching for raw materials to further their efforts. Press pop. What are your orders, sir? Captain, penetrate their lines to discover the truth. Ooh. Ooh. Water. Nice. Such Very nice. Amazing for 16 colors. painterly scenes. Cut um, scenes. I don't think I would have been upset if I got an Atari 8-bit instead of a Commodore 64. Um, because there's awesome games on that. And the graphics are better on the Atari. Are they, are they a little better? Yeah. Sound has that much edge on the C64, yeah, though. But yeah. I knew nobody with an Atari 8 bit, no. and that would have been the problem. I. I. Because I would have not been able to get any games or any. any kind of utilities or anything. But I knew so many people with Commodore 64s. Mm. Like, everyone had one. Oh, lost my shield. I knew people, it was either Apple. Didn't know anybody with I, Apple. I knew people with Apple. One person, but I wasn't well, even really friends with them. One close person, one one close friend, yeah. and then a couple people with Commodore sixty fours. That was about it, really. I knew somebody with a TI ninety nine Texas Instruments. Yeah. Um, I knew somebody with an. Um, I think I did know somebody with an Atari, like one person, but I wasn't yeah. like super close friends with them. Apples? Eh, mostly just schools had apples when we were around us. Uh, well, interestingly, my friend oh my who God, had an took apple. Over the spread. Her father Damn. taught at my school, was a teacher, and also taught computers in elementary school. So yeah. um, oh. don't ask ask me which Apple computer she had, because I really don't remember. But Apple um, to EC. Yeah. One of those. But um, yeah, we had very apples in early school. Apple adopter. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Very early. Um, yeah, I, I knew a few people with damn Commodore 64. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. No! Yeah, yeah, nostalgic. It was about evenly spread amongst Apple, C64, and Atari 8 bit with my friends. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. And then Dan ABC said I had a TI 99 4A programmed few games in Extended Basic. Mm. I programmed yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, maybe That's so a, cool. a half a dozen games in Basic for yeah. my C64. I still have them. 
on disk. I need to finish transferring over all my Was it games. from Compute's Gazette and you were no, typing my games. that? Oh, they were your I games made, so you remade made them. Games. Ah, so not just not just typing out and creating games. Yeah. You did that with your sister though, right? You um type them out from magazines. Out for yeah. magazines, yeah. Oh, oh my god. I, I remember to... my dad doing that and I did take a really brief course on like basic, Commodore 64 basic when I was I don't know. Oh, what am I getting or these? something? Just the screenshots, I think. This is not good. No. Because they're like taking over now. Yeah. It's not multiplying. I mean, it's not even that powerful. Might be more precise for the boss. Uh, yeah. Oh, could you be. have to hit the ends. Oh, okay. Yep. I'll have to get two of them this time, I think. Oh, oh. get one. <gasps> oh my god. Didn't expect Probably that. the other and then the middle. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! He went crazy. So this one has more than one. Uh... Ooh! Is that my first death? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Oh, careful! Oh my god! This He's boss hard. is decimating me. Oh my god! Those shots! It's the sides. Get and then... run! Oh, there you go. Run away! Is that page special on James Holmberg hands? Yeah. Uh, they're very bad. They're... One's just a database. It's not a even, database. Not you even just, a game. just for the hell of it, just created a database. Yeah. It like asked you a bunch of questions. It's like, what's yeah. your favorite food? Oh. <laughs> what's your cat's name? <laughs> and I actually have Darcy's information. So basically, from the mid are you going to sell that to Google? Would it be That's worth anything now? No. No. <laughs> Good job, Captain. What's your current status? <laughs> Sensors are detecting enemy activity underwater, sir. And I made a um, uh, Tron Cycles game. Oh, cool. Um, can't cool. remember what else I made. Copy that command. Starting my descent now. Mm. Under the water now. That's so good. I think of nice other games we played. My dad, we definitely had a golf game. Yes. Um, and I and my dad loved too. his flight simulator, which I think was Microsoft. No, not Microsoft. Who would have done it? He had a flight simulator and he loved that flight simulator. He yeah. was always either playing golf or his <laughs> flight simulator. Uh, what was the good... Um, it's yeah. excellent. What was the good golf game? Because I had it as well. It's like the uh, Lynx. Or... I don't remember what it was called. And I definitely well, had I played a... played it so much. It was so Had good. a bootleg version of it, too. Um, bootleg, that's a good name for it. <laughs> Pirate? Bootleg. <laughs> bootleg. BBC From bootlegs. <laughs> um, BBS. BBS. Sorry, BBC. BBC would be uh, yeah, British. A uh, yeah, BBS. A different computer. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's game over. Oh my god! I only got fifth place. Wow. Oh, but I can continue. I wonder what happens if I can continue? Sorry, patch quest. My first computer was an 8088 hand-me-down. I loved it, but I had no help with coding. Didn't even know you could do more than load games. I mean, that's what... I, I didn't really code. I, I just played games on it. That's what I saw the Commodore 64 oh, as. No. A gaming machine. What did you do? Oh, I guess I, right? I could enter a password. No, when you yeah. when it prompted me to like save, yeah, that means save for another day, not save at this point. Oh, you just hit continue. Keep continue from that point. You just hit continue. That's what I did. Yeah. And you can load from cart, load oh. from disk, or enter password. So I could continue on that fourth level from a password. Load from cart. I, that's not how it works. No. Oh, what? Lies. <laughs> no. Of course, that's how it works. But I thought it was like, oh, you can... I'm not going to play this because we just played it. So. This level? We're good. No, no, I, I think we have to move on. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, uh, that World is... World-class leaderboard golf. That yeah. is the one. It's so good. Flight, Flight Simulator 2, Sublogic. That sounds about right to me. I, I, I knew it was called Flight Simulator, but I wasn't sure exactly what it was. Yeah, the Commodore 64 had a very long lifespan. Oh, super. Leaderboard golf, yeah. Both were great games. I remember playing a lot of the golf game. The Flight Simulator, I liked, but my dad pretty much monopolized. <laughs> well, Flight Simulator is <laughs> And he more bought relaxing. a very crazy joystick, like very specifically to play the Flight Simulator game. So yeah. I remember that. Uh, 
Okay, the third one we're playing today, third Commodore 64 homebrew is Zeta Wing, made by Sarah Jane Avery, just like the last game. This one's distributed by Bitmap Soft. Uh, let me show it off to you. Let's go to the cat cam, where there's a cat. Oh, I changed cartridges while I'm at it. Oh, that's a happy cat. That he's still on his uh happy cat. He's happy a little sleepy guy. A sleepy sleepy guy, but it's um tie. Yeah, tie. Yum, 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 Whoa, yum. not sleepy anymore. <laughs> oh thank you, Charles Wheeland. Zeta Wang, some pictures Oh my gosh, back. cats everywhere. Cats everywhere. Cats, 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 cats. Cats, cats. cats, cats. Get a poster. An instruction manual. They're coming. They're coming. A sticker. Let James show off the game first, and then it's treat time. I can't get that sticker. Um, uh. And a backing. Ooh. And a little bitmap soft in there where oh, nice. normally there is little feelies. Very cool. Mm -hmm. so let me plug that in. You can see the kitties now. One for you, one for you. <laughs> ding, 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 one for you. Oh, who gets there first? Oh, the black cat. Oh, go. sneakers. Oh, the gray cat ran off with, with his. <laughs> He's like, like nope. no, I'm not sharing this one. <laughs> I know what you do. Mm -hmm. I'll wait to turn that on. You gonna ring it? Ring a bell, ring a bell. Ring the bell. No, ring it. Oh, no, try a little harder. Oh, good oh, kitty. Oh, good kitty. Try, try again. He is hitting it. Oh, can you can it. you smack it for him? Do this. There you go. Good kitty. He's he's kind of spinning it and touching it. Yeah, he's not. There you good go. Good kitty. Oh, Yay. one, two, three, Everybody's four. Dinging Everyone's dinging it. Everyone's <laughs> dinging. I can't help but think of Zero Wing when I, with the name Zeta Wing. Yes. Can you put it down low so we can see them? Oh. Like just grab it. Is that okay? Yeah. It's, is it too much of a trouble? Just wound around things, but it's not that bad. Okay. 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 Here, one for you. Yeah. Here, I'll give that to you. No, no. You let the black cat get the rest of it. He's a black cat. You you missed him. Well, it's difficult. Okay, one for you. One for you. Let's grab a couple more here. You're gonna have to keep it on the black cat. Oh, it's too cat, close. It's... Every time I try, it goes to the wrong one. The, the wrong cat brings it. <laughs> keep it on the black cat till he gets it. Come on, hit it. You just. Good kitty. There we go. Good kitty. Come on. The black cat's doing it. Yay. There you go. Good kitty. Good kitty. Okay. <laughs> Service. Okay. Service, please. All done. <laughs> All done. Close up cat cam. <laughs> Yorgi's Castle. We didn't have a computer when I was a kid. We used to go to my dad's office and play Rogue or Adventure. Yeah. Oh, Rogue was so good. Motion second house as Kathy Man 2D. Ugh. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. Thank you. Here you go. It's time for Zeta, Zeta Wing. Zeta Wing. Zeta Wing. Zeta Wing. Zeta. Hi, black cat. Watch out. There's a black cat by you. So I should sit down quickly? No, don't squish him. So really quickly? No, don't squish him. <laughs> oh, voice. Bit Bitmap Soft presents. No, no settings. Rough cartridge. Okay. Okay. This Start. one's a little bit lighter. So yep. uh, Witch Soft 2020 actually was released in 2022. Um, on cartridge. Wait, what? I didn't even see any of that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought uh, you were going to read off options? of that anyway. Is there any options or anything? Oh. 
I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. That's okay, I can die. Blazing through it. Come on, kill me. Kill me. Cats are always the highlight of ZPH. Yes, there they we go. are. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, just a I'm not proud of that. No. So, options. So, we can go into that. So, auto fire probably on. I always like auto fire. Uh, what do we got? Easy, normal, hard. What do you want to do? Start on easy. Sure, P for pause. No, no. Device? Press it? No, oh, 8 is fine. We don't have that plugged in. Okay. And now you can start the game. A, lo a long time ago, well, 1987 to be exact, Tecmo released an arcade game called Gemini Wing. It was a vertically scrolling shmup, bright, fun, and colorful. By the time, you're on easy. Well, no, I, I, I thought I was supposed to run into it, and then I was trying to shoot it, and then I got oh. hit, so we're starting over again. <laughs> <sighs> um, by the time the conversion were being done, I had moved from my home in Cambridgeshire to a company based in Dewsbury. Okay, let's wow. try that again. These British uh, town names. Oh, they're great. While there, the conversions for Gemini Wing were underway, being coded for the C64, Atari ST, and Amiga. A, a dedicated Amiga version had started production, but was halted. I don't remember why. Meaning someone had to code an Amiga version pretty quick. Uh, so they asked me to do the job. Now, I wanted to do a top-notch Amiga version, but they told me to port the completed Atari ST version to the Amiga with an emphasis on speed. This did not sit well with me, but I did the job as required. Fast forward to recent past after suffering a bit of burnout writing my Bri Briley Witch Chronicles, which is kind of an R RPG, I believe, oh, cool. that she did. Oh, cool. Um, series of novels. Nice. Um, are they adapting it to a... Game? Or is it just novels? I swear, well, it's novels, but I swear they're adapting to a game. Oh, an so. RPG? Yeah. Well, maybe not. I took a break from writing and turned my attention to coding some fun stuff for the Commodore 64, a machine I had programmed for many years ago. I began coding an RPG based on my Briley Witch books, but I also had a few distractions with shmups. First being Neutron, a game entry for the 16K cartridge competition. But I still remember my thoughts about Amiga Gemini Wing, how it didn't turn out how I wanted. Well, armed with the freedom on the C64 and being able to do whatever I wanted with no one telling me what to do, I decided I wanted to create a new 64 game inspired by Gemini Wing, and thus Zeta Wing was born. My design goal for Zeta Wing was to expand on the code base to use for Neutron, removing the 16K limit but creating a single load game. I did this to keep down the game's scope, and it was only meant for a fun little project. I used Gemini Wing for reference, as well as many other shmup, vertical shmups, so I worked hard on the game, creating all the gr code, graphics, and music. My friend created the artwork used by Itch.io. With that, I released the game, not expecting much. Well, the game still had, uh, the game had a massive reception being released, and I'm still amazed by the responses from players. Not only did the game exceed all exp my expectations, but even won RGN Gamer's Choice of, for 2020. I'm happy with the game, and now the little fun game I created has cartridge release, and that makes me very proud. So this won uh, Indie Retro News Game of the Year for 2020. Nice. Is, that's pretty good. And RGN Gamer's Choice for Commodore 64 in 2020 as well. Whatever you do, use the main screen, it says. There's a whole bunch of letters highlighted here. Yeah. That are um, probably going to spell something. D U D U R U Dur U Dur D U R U L Dural Two L's D U R U L L D R. Okay. That's, that's a code. Well, that doesn't spell anything. Well, you definitely hit letters. Okay. So there's the gold letters that come up. Ah! Run! And I uh, tagged Sarah. Oh, yeah? And I posted this on Twitter. Nice. And, uh, and she liked it. So. Oh, good. She may be watching surreptitiously. Maybe. Maybe through the maybe. YouTubes later on. That'd maybe be nice. in the YouTubes. Maybe ah, right I now. That. <laughs> Anonymously. Who knows? Um, that would be cool. So what are the P's and things? In the game, uh, use control. Yeah, but yeah. Your ship starts with a basic weapon that can be powered up. Destroy an entire enemy attack wave. Drops a P symbol. 
collect 12 P symbols to power up your weapons levels one by one. 12. Okay, I was you, wondering how many you, you needed because you do need to get quite, quite a few. few. Your weapons could be powered up nine times. So that's nice. a that's lot. Nice. That's pretty significant. 100, 108 ah. Ps. 108 Ps you have to get to get full power. That's a lot. But they drop quite a few. Hey, Mac Mac, welcome. Yeah, it's for the C64. We're doing a C64 tribute show because it's the 40th anniversary of the Commodore 64, which was released uh, in August in 1982. Uh, shoot Z and W symbols for extra points. Z and W for just points. points. Okay. So you don't have to go out of your way to try and get them if it's dangerous. They're just points. Okay. I thought maybe they spe spelled something oh, important in the end. I'm enjoying this. It's kind of one of those shooters that is exciting and also kind of okay. relaxing. Good night, Yorgi's Castle. Good night. Have a good night. Uh, let's see. Have stage a good weekend. one. Are you in stage one still? I'm guessing. I am. A... No, 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 no. Stage I, two. I killed the first boss, oh, you're in the so I must be. Level. Stage two. Enemies swoop down to attack you, or as you over. Yeah, yeah, Enemies yeah. swoop down to attack as you overly the islands? Overly. Overly? Overly? No, it's just overly. But watch out overly? for some pesky gun turrets. Oh, it's a snake dragon. Whoa! Pretty fast. Oh, oh that was Way bad. too close to him. I know. No reaction time. Oh, oh. got him. Yay! Did you lose all your power-ups, though? Probably uh, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to see if you lose them all. I'm doing nope, pretty good. I don't think them. I lost them all. I That's lost... Ah! Right into the first thing. I know. Terrible. Ah, they're so fast. Holy crap. Stage three. Unfriendly forests. They are unfriendly. I agree with that. Oh my right god. Into right it. into it. So there are... Seven stages. <laughs> this is definitely harder. Space Harrier vibes. Oh there. my god, oh, with this the dragon, is so much yes. harder. Yeah, you used all your lives in... In that last one. Yeah. Oh, third place. That was fun, though. Uh, try to destroy as many waves as possible to drop key symbols. Yeah, some bosses are only vulnerable at certain times, so ta uh, time your attacks carefully. Physical release by Bitmap Soft. Is Bitmap Soft the same company that releases the books? Is Bitmap Books? Are they? I don't know. Bitmap Soft? Well, I don't not think necessarily. So. They just have Overflow. the same name. Space Harrier Vibes. Easy. Save settings? Um, sure. Save error. Okay. <laughs> or well, not. That's ex expecting a. No, no, cannot. Come up here. Look at this. Look Hi. at the game. Watch the game. Hi, watch the game. Yeah. Yeah, little flat black flat. Oh, oh I know so what that is. What? 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 You can't pa not pausing, no? No, I'm gonna die. Um D U R U L D R. You know what those are? Up, down, left, right. Oh, I see, I see. So we're gonna wait till I die and go back to the uh, title screen and see oh. what that is. You can read them out. Can you see them? The ones in gray? Okay. Don't bend the book. I'm not bending it. Relax. You are. You're bending it. When you get back to the title screen, though. Yeah. I have to die. There we go. Okay. Okay. What are they? In order? Goodness. Okay. Uh, D. U. R. I think I was way too slow. Can somebody, can you type that out in the chat? I'll read it out. Because I think I have to do it on this screen. It was like way D too slow. Uh, D U 
are you uh, L L D R yeah, we are Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Down, up, right, up, left, left, down, right. There Ooh. we go. Something exciting. Neutron! <gasps> so this is her original game. So no. <laughs> oh. There we go. Which soft. <laughs> Shooter. Oh, nice! Oh, Looks it's... Galagask. Oh boy. So it's it slowly moves left and right as you can see, like when you move the stars. Oh my god. Oh, it's a vertical scroll. Okay, <laughs> just nothing was there for it at first. Cool. Oh, we can shoot things on the ship. Bats in space! You gotta have bats space in the game. bats. Yes. Get it! I would like a pee. Power up. Power me up. Cool, 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 cool! That is cool to be able to release a bonus game inside the game. Yeah. I knew those, those oh, letters were for wow. something. Am I supposed to shoot those or collect them? Nope. No, you, them. Ha you have to shoot them. Just it's like, like the, the other game. Oh no! Damn it. So smooth! Yes. So smooth. Bats. Space bats. Space bats. How did they get in space? We've been encountering How? space bats as a, our journey through Atari 2600 Lots of classic space. games. Oh, boss. Like a good game and challenging too, yes! Oh. Stage one cleared. Now on to enter next stage. Oh, it does count the bees and bees. Mm. See the slight shift in the stars as I move left and right. Oh my God! He turned. He did. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh my God! This is a challenging game. Oh. Yay! Level extra up. firepower! Wait, wait, wait. Damn it, they go right to the bottom! No! Okay, your turn. Bats and birds are always the baddies. Yep. Oh, thank you. I don't really care. Not a very, I didn't do very well. I had to get used to the game for at first. No, it'll cry. It'll, it'll complain. <laughs> Doesn't look that, eh? But what year did it say? 2019? 2017. I'll pull it next time. Ah, 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 ah. Nice shooting. I missed one, yeah. Mm, these guys are harder. Get bonus for not missing any. Oh no, you missed the maps. Those are hard. No. It's hard to get them all. Yeah, they're ah, flying ah, off ah, the ah. screen. Ah, 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 ah. 2019. Oh, thank you, Great Offender. So at first I thought there was printing errors in the manual, and I'm like, no, that's too many printing errors. And then I said it at the bottom, it says, whatever you do, use the main menu screen. Oh, God, he got me. And that's that's how you get it. <laughs> no love for the reptiles either, usually. Uh... I think you're going to beat my score. Mm. Now, beat the boss first. Who's the boss? Is this the boss? Which is not too bad, but not that easy. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh my god, those guys are awful. <laughs> ah, no, I did not beat your score. No? No. Oh. I died pretty early. Oh, in the second level? Yeah. I definitely want to try it. Yeah, it is a challenging game. It's fun. Which is good. Really fun. Okay. No options for easy, though. Is there? Was it? There's no options. For... Uh, no. No? Nope. Just, no. It is Just what it level. is. Just one level. I wouldn't say it's 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 too bad. Got through the first level pretty easily, but that second level. Yeah, it's Whoa. deadly. It is deadly. Ray Trusa? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. I do. Oh, I want my lives. Set. I want my lives. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Let me kiss you. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Ah. <laughs> Okay, that was terrible. Let's do that again. Great cat. Hi, 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 sir. Hi. Hi. Oh, they're shooting. Ah, no, I don't want to be there. Whoa. Cat butt, cat butt. Cat butt in the face. Says, would you like a cat butt? The great cat named C64 tonight, oh. yeah. Mr. Commodore. Yes. He's Commodore Atari. Commodore. That's his Commodore rank. Tonight. Commodore Atari? Yeah, his rank is Commodore. Oh, yes. The Commodore Perfect. Atari. Yeah. Kitties. Meow. And Are your you Commodore you? Sprite. Commodore Sprite? Yeah. Oh, she, he's more like Lieutenant Sprite. Lieutenant Sprite. I don't, he hasn't think, he, I don't, I don't think he's earned the, the rank of Commodore. Yeah. It's, yeah. Petty, petty officer. Petty officer sprite. Oh, cute kid. <laughs> poor, oh. poor petty officer sprite. <laughs> Go swab the deck. <laughs> yeah, sprite's definitely a red shirt. <laughs> red shirt. Yeah. First to go. Oh, poor, poor petty officer sprite. I don't know the ranks, so <laughs> it no. doesn't. This is not the boss, is it already? It might be. Nice. Oh, bit... Looks like a. Eh, no, he's a mid boss. Mid boss? For sure. That was not it. I feel like shots. you're still at the same. Like the level looks. Yeah, fairly similar. It's similar ish. The background hasn't changed. Ah, those guys are the worst! Oh, they are. Oh. Oh, God. You have to kind of know where they're coming in so you can get them so before they start slashing to the left. Oh, my God. Bad. This is more a defensive game now than. Now, it's dodging, right? You're not yeah. even thinking about hitting things anymore. It's like, watch the bullets, watch oh, the enemies. Bullet hell. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is very. Oh, bullet Ooh, Whoa. Green bullets. Oh my god, oh my god, he shot one bullet as on his way out. Yeah. Now, now, now it's, now boss, it's time. boss time. Cross the threshold. Hopefully, I can make It's the same boss. The same stuff. Yay! Die, same boss. Die. <laughs> now, dear, next stage, stage three. Maybe it. Maybe it's just like here's a bonus game. It's it's very simple. Well, we'll, it's, we'll it's not that simple. Yeah. Oh, this is similar to. Um, no, like the graphics. Uh, I mean, the graphics the, aren't simple, but no, no, this is similar to the last game. Oh, it it had it had a stage with the the dropping. Oh, this is different. It had a oh stage my god, the... Wigglies. Oh my god. Oh, how did I survive even that long? You have to get them as they come in on the right. You do. That was not good. I need that. Keep lining them up. 
Oof, they're coming back. More? No, these are different guys. Oof. Oh, God. Watch the bullets. Watch the bullets. Mid boss. Easy mid boss. So many moving objects. It's a lot. Like, this is an incredible C64 game on its own. Nevermind yeah. is a bonus hidden game. Yeah. Oh, God. I died last time here. Yeah. I'm gonna die again. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Bah! Want, want one more of this, or do you go good. back to the other one? I'm good. These shmups are awesome. Don't you agree? This probably doesn't say. Atari? It says, yeah, shmups. Meow, meow. Sure. Good kitty. Okay. Let's go back to the original game. Impressive maneuvering, yes. Thank you, but I died anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't even played this, have I? Not much, because I was like... No, I haven't played no, this No, because at all. you wanted to try the, uh, the ah, secret there's game. Ah, no auto-fire. Oh, or no. Is there any? Is there? Yeah. There is, you just don't have it on. Yeah. Now you need auto-fire. Kisses. Kisses. <laughs> I don't need to stand up. Come on, kisses. Hey. There, there we go. go. Phew. Okay. Options. Auto fire, please. We'll stay on easy, yeah. I guess. Or you can try it harder if you want. Go norm. 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 Norm difficulty. Norm difficulty. It's for when norm plays. Norm. Norm's norm difficulty. The gaming history. It's really is, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, funny. I can't remember his last name. I just think of uh, Cheers when I hear norm. That's probably not the too most many norms. famous norm. Not too many norms around anymore. It's not no. a super common name. Norman. 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 It seems that seems like a very uncommon older generation's name. But like most things, it'll probably come back. Oh yeah, somebody go. That's a cool name. Yeah, I haven't heard that I haven't name. Heard that one. It's like well, it's because uh, it's really old. Yeah. Nobody uses it. it goes in cycles. It does. Um, Norm so, McDonald. There Norm you go. McDonald's. People will be naming their kids after Norm. It's not. It wasn't young. <laughs> well, no, but it also, I don't think it was that common a name. Not even then. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You just think about how many norms in general. Like you know, zero. Not that, not too many. Um, so I got my Commodore, I'd say, 84, 85. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's 85. Um, when the prices were a little bit lower on it. Mm. Um, when I first got it, it was my dad. Oh my god! I didn't see that. My dad made me promise to learn typing if he got it for oh, me. Oh yeah, yeah. So I practiced and practiced and practiced typing. I must have had a typing game. Or I had some a typing share game. Share a typing game. Yeah, me too. Because I didn't know anybody at first who had a Commodore, so I had. I just had the stuff that came with it, and and I think he maybe. Bought, got some shareware from the, from the company he bought it from as well, the computer store. Yeah. Um, but I had almost nothing. I was like, oh, it's pretty boring. Mm. But I had a basic programming uh, book. I think it came with it. Yeah. And I would um, get things out of the library as well. Oh, okay. Programming books. And they were like... The books that were kind of generic basic. Yeah. And they would have here's here's the basic program. Yeah. And then here's how to alter it if you have uh, an Atari, an Apple, a yeah, Commodore so they, 64. They give you yeah, how options. you would change the the um, syntax or whatever. Yeah, the, the syntax. And they yeah. usually put programs in there that were not graphics. Or they would only include one that was graphics because the C64 Basic had no graphics instructions. You had to do it all in machine language for graphics. Mm. Some of them were text-based um, games or programs. Um, they could use text to, of like a for the Petsky um, graphics. Um, 
to represent games. Life left. No. I don't think there's any extra lives in this game. Oh! It's hard. Is that just the second level? What did you get? Uh, I played on easy, so it oh, might not be okay. showing it. Yeah. Oh no! No, it's all mixed together. It's because oh. we reset it. it well, yeah, we way. reset it. Yeah, that's true. Nostalgic says, I just learned typing from entering listings from Antic, Analog, and Compute magazines. That helped too. Yeah. I, I took a typing course when I was in like early high school. Like one more. And I didn't really care about it. And then weirdly years later, because we still had our Commodore 64 like for a very long time. I, I actually still have went it. We're back. On it. <laughs> I, well, no, I actually went back and there was an old typing program game on it. Oh, okay. And so I actually in high school learned to type on the Commodore 64. Oh, it's not a good keyboard. But but that's it had a it had kind of like a game. So that's where I ended up going back and actually uh. learning proper typing from cuz even though I took the typing course I didn't really care too much about it. I, I didn't never tried that hard with it. So oh, Yep. And now I type so much. <laughs> I'd, I'd actually be quite interested to see what my my typing speed is because I have done that really in a while? fast. I've never done a typing speed uh, test, so I don't type that as I much as I I write to. so many bloody emails. And I write a lot of chatting and on the Atari age forums. I yeah. post a lot. I, like I just I do type a lot, and then I do write documents too. So I I'm just I feel like you type more than I do for sure. I type a lot. Um, I mostly do like graphics work. Yeah, other other like applications. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just got it. So yeah, I'd be curious to see how fast my typing is. <laughs> um, but then uh, in grade eight, uh, about a year yeah. or so after I got my Commodore, um, in high school, that's when. I met up with people who had Commodores. Yeah. And then I got a ton of games and all my allowance went to blank discs. <laughs> I still have my well, double-sided hole puncher. Double-sided hole puncher. Specifically for five and a quarter discs. Oh, that is funny. So I can punch and make uh, the second side that available. That is funny, 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 funny. It was a necessity to get double the storage. And I overwrote all the early shareware that I had. Oh, really? Which, which is kind of sad because I would have wanted to see like, like some of that of, stuff. Kind of the crappy things that the, the Commodore came with. They're like really early, but you, early you, programs. But you didn't want to leave the media behind. You wanted to use the, the discs themselves. For games. Yeah. For better games. That's so funny. Yeah. Well, at least you were spending your money on discs instead of drugs. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't touch alcohol till I was 26. So. Yeah. <laughs> And you was, can you can thank the Commodore 64. That's for that. right. <laughs> Kept me away from all the parties. <laughs> you know, I just just didn't drink any alcohol. Lol, lol. Um. Die, die, die. Sometimes joke that if what most way I type is a small subset of words for if well function. Yeah. yeah. Also, program my computer class teacher in eighth grade wrote for Apple really got my speed up. It just put up random groups of three characters of the whole screen. You had to print your best time. Uh, okay. Ah. Yeah. I type better. Charles says I type better than I write with a pen and pencil. I definitely. Oh yeah. I I f far type faster than I can handwrite. Oh. Like way I I can faster. type. I I touch type. I don't have oh, yeah. to look at the screen. No, no. I can read and type like this. Like There's part of my agreement, I still make mistakes, but it's generally pretty good. Part so. of my agreement for getting a Commodore 64 was was, was learning, learning to, to type, touch. and I did, and yeah. that he held me to that. Like, um, and I got a Commodore 64. I got the 1702 monitor, so that that's why I know that it was a later a later purchase version? because yeah. the 1701 was first. Is oh, maybe it was the 1701. Yeah. And I got a. Um, floppy drive as well. Do you want your name in here? It erases it. Okay. So it doesn't. Oh, uh, wow. All three games so are really good. And I knew excellent. they were good because I, I saw videos on them before I bought them. But this is the first time I've actually sat down and played them. Yeah. Literally, I bought that in 2017, that mm -hmm. first one, and I've not played it. Really? Well, I'm glad we had a show. chance. I know. I'm glad we yeah. had a chance to play it on the show. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, we have more Commodore 64 stories because we're going to be doing After Dark mm -hmm. and Tanya is going to be playing yes. Impossible Mission, her favorite Commodore 64 game. And I'm then so I will excited. be talking about my favorite Commodore 64 games. Yay! Glad we could help you with your backlog. Yes. Well, I'm glad that, you know, people were still watching and enjoyed, yep. even though we're uh, going to the dark side. <laughs> going to play, the dark side. And playing Commodore 64 oh, games. How, but it's still homebrew. You? It doesn't it is, say... It is homebrew. Zero-page Atari homebrew. Well, yeah. It's zero-page homebrew, it which zero allows page. me to... Expand out expand your, other things your repertoire of, once of, in a while of systems, know? yeah, and uh, also allows me to expand into links. And yeah, nice. Some complications, but uh, oh, we're getting yeah. there. Figuring it out slowly. We're figuring it out. Hopefully, we can um, get a links expand show. The portfolio. Yes. In before yep. we go away. Nice. Don't know yet. There's some some issues, mm -hmm. um, and we don't, I don't know Atari what they are yet. Atari Patch Quest says my favorite homebrew C64 game is. Abby. Oh, that does look really good. Uh, Abby so Death Abby de Morte. Okay. Um, Death Abbey. Okay. Um, it's a RPG? platformer. Oh, platformer. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Looks really, really good. Nice, nice. Um, so. I did not buy it. Good Halloween game, mm -hmm. yeah. It's great graphics in it. So good. Um, so. Stay tuned for more. Don't go anywhere. Yep. Um, but thank you for tuning in, if you are going to go away. Atari Patch <laughs> Quest, Charles Wheel and Dan ABC, Nostalgic, Ivory Tower Collections, RC7E, Cubanismo, Grey Defender, uh, BR Pocock, Mike Soul, Mac Mech, um, Robocat, Yorgi's Castle, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, <laughs> Commodore uh, Pet is next. <laughs> Commodore Pet. Uh, no. Um, oh, my friend had a Commodore. It's a Commodore 16, was it? What was it one oh, before this one? Um, yeah, so we could only play certain games. Was there a 128? Yeah, that was after this. Yeah. But there was hardly any games made specifically for the 128, yeah. and it was backwards compatible to the C64. So people just played C64. And games then on the it. Amiga, right? Then the Amiga. And yeah. that was Vic bigger. 20. Vic 20. I'm Vic like, 20. Like yes. Like Commodore 16. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vic 20. Yeah, Vic I had a Vic 20. 20. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Vic 20 is what they showed on Bits and Bytes, right? That TV show. I didn't watch it. Oh. I think that was my East dad. Coast my dad or would watch that. We didn't. It get. was East Coast. Yeah, I, can't, I, I still have I have the theme song going through my head right now. Sold, so. I guess, I guess eighty two to ninety four. Yeah, yeah, it sold for a long time because games kept being made for it, and they were still really good. They're getting better and better. Um, yeah. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yeah. In ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Um, let me just cue it up so I have the proper screen nice nice nice, nice 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 bits and bites was a fun show i i have i have memories of being young and watching that on um tv ontario tv ontario yeah sound like a good channel lots of good stuff it, had, it was great yeah in hindsight so much nostalgia associated yeah. to that channel okay we'll be right back in 10 minutes we're going to be playing impossible mission mm -hmm. um so stay tuned but for those who can't we'll see you very soon mm -hmm. bye-bye